So January, time to refresh after Christmas and um, get ready for the year and look forward to spring and lots of um, outdoor stuff. Got a nice sunny day today, although it's freezing cold. So rub your hands down those legs, get that blood flowing. Just move the blood, move, move the tissue, warm yourself up, leaning forward and back, leaning forward and back. Let those knees come soft as you come forward. So just going forwards and back. And then stop in that vertical position, roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Get the blood flowing through those shoulder blades all the way up to the ears, round and back. Pop those hands on the floor behind. Pull the upper arms together, lift that chest up, push off those knuckles, bring that chin all the way up to the sky, breathing in, breathing out, bring that chin all the way down to the chest, keep those upper arms together, keep that chest lifted, keep that tummy button forward, use those heels and pull yourself forward onto your front bottom, pulling your chin into your chest, keep those legs nice and straight. Roll those eyes over so they're looking at the right side of that right leg. And then roll those eyes around so they're looking at the left side of the left leg. And then take those eyes to the right side of the right leg. Keep that chin into the chest. Pushing the back of the head to the sky, pulling the shoulder blades together. Stretching that right, uh, sorry, left ear from the left shoulder. And then swing that head through to the left side of the left leg. Shoulder blades together, lifting that chest up, pulling that tummy button forward, pulling those thighs down, pulling the toes to the nose, lifting that right ear from that right shoulder. And then bring those eyes back to the centre and slowly lift that chin all the way up to the sky. Breathing in, lift that chest up. Pull those upper arms together, breathing out, push off those hands, pop them on your legs, roll your body all the way forward towards those feet. Soften your knees so that your tummy can come down onto your thighs and then pop your hands over the top of your toes. So I get my toes in, the, in, the, in my wrist and my fingertips in the arch of my foot. And then I'm gonna push that right leg away and push the knee to the floor and stretch through that right shoulder, stretch through that right leg, stretch through the, hand, the um, yeah, hamstring, sorry, stretching through the lower back. And then I'm going to push that left leg away, straightening that, <coughs> stretching through the left lower back, stretching through the left shoulder and armpit. And then push the right leg down to push both of those legs away, reaching and stretching. And then release, let those hands come up the legs, let yourself sit up nice and tall, roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Put the left hand on the right knee, right hand behind. Gently lift that body and then gently turning all the way around to the right, looking over that right shoulder, keeping that body up nice and straight. And then come back to face the front. And then put the right hand on the left knee, left hand behind. Lift and turn, keeping that body vertical, looking over that left shoulder. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Join in. Happy New Year. Looking over and round to that left side. And then coming back round to the front. Put those hands on those legs. Roll those hands all the way down towards those feet, soften those knees. Pull those armpits down over the, uh, down towards those thighs. Reaching, pushing the head towards the toes, pushing those knees down towards the floor. Breathing in. So just limber up your back, Sarah. Limber up your legs. Breathing in. Breathing out. Sit up nice and tall, rolling those shoulders up to the ears, round the back, pop the hands on the floor, lift that chest up to the sky, pull with those heels, pulling them onto the front bottom, push the knees into the floor, squeeze those shoulder blades together, breathing in, 
Breathing out, release off those hands, and then one more time, roll those hands all the way down towards the feet, wrap the fingers over those feet, toes into the wrists, fingertips into the arch of the foot, breathing in, breathing out, push those toes away, pull those knees down to the floor. And then release those hands and sit yourself up nice and tall, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Bring those arms up in front of you, breathing in, and then on the out breath, rolling all the way down, one vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly, all the way down to the floor, bring those arms all the way over the head, pushing those fingers away from the toes, let those shoulders come up around the ears, push that right hand away from that right foot, and really lengthen down that right side. And then push that left hand away from the left foot and really lengthen down that left hand side. And push that right hand away, walk the body over so that the hands come to the left side of the mat. Walk the feet to the left, lift the bum up and drop it right a little bit. Cross that left leg over the right, taking hold of that right wrist, stretch that right side, keeping the elbow on the floor, keeping the shoulders on the floor. Keeping those hips down, stretching through that side. And then release, bring those feet back to the center. Bring the bum back to the center, hands back. And then lifting that, uh, the shoulders across to the right, sorry, to the left a little bit. Take those hands right, walk those feet right, lift those hips up, drop them to the left. Take hold of that left wrist, cross that right leg over the left and lengthen through that left side, <clears throat> pushing the right, the left hand away from the left foot, keeping the shoulders down, elbows down, hips down, pushing away. And then coming all the way back to the center. Breathing in on the out breath, take the hands up to the sky, chin into the chest and roll yourself all the way up to sitting. Hands on those legs, reach yourself all the way forward down towards those feet, soften the knees, Soften the knees, pulling yourself forward, and then pushing those knees down into the floor and bring yourself up to vertical. Grab that dreaded roller. If you don't want to use the roller because it's going to feel a bit aggressive, you can use a ball. Bring the roller in, resting the elbows on, on the roller. Breathing in, and we're going to let the lower ribs rest on, on the roller. Take hold of the head in the hands. Breathing out, push the chest up to the sky. Let that head come down. And release. Release out the breath and let the body relax. And then bring that head back up, chin into the chest. And move the roller a few centimetres up towards the head. Breathing in. On the out breath. Lower that head down, let that chest lift up. Stretch through the front of that body and then bring that head back up. And then move that roller up towards the neck a bit further, breathing in. Only a bit, so I'm still, I'm at my bra strap area, breathing out. Push that chest up to the sky, let that head fall back. Loosen that head and neck. And then lift yourself back up. Move the roller one more up to the shoulders. Breathing in and on the out breath, push the chest up high. Let the head rest over the roller. Maybe the head rests on the back, the back of the head rests on the roller. Hands together, push those hands away. Push those arms away. Feel if your arms are even. Bring those arms back in, take hold of the head in the hands. Roll that roller all the way down to those bottom ribs. Roll that roller all the way back towards the neck. Roll that roller all the way down towards those bottom ribs. Rolling all the way back up towards the base of the neck. Rolling all the way down, but leaning on that left hand side. Just the left side of the spine. And then continue on the left, all the way over, so that we get all the way over on the left. 
And up totally on that left hand side. All the way up, all the way down. Through that armpit. So if you want to rest your bum on the floor, you can, rocking forwards and backwards, resting that bum on the floor, stretching through that, um, stretching through that, uh, sorry, rolling through that armpit, moving, and then all the way up, and then all the way down. All the way through that back. And then leaning over onto the back. And then all the way over onto the back. And then over onto that right hand side. Onto the side and then same again. If you want to, you can bump your bottom on the ground, or you can just roll through that right hand side. Good, well done. And then rocking forwards and back. Just staying on this side, just rocking a little bit forwards and back so that we're mobilizing. If that's, if that's uncomfortable, I'm actually sitting on my right hip Got my elbow on the floor, I can move the roller and then I can just allow as much weight as I want onto it. And I'm just massaging those muscles with that roller. And then when I feel like it, I can move the roller and roll. And then I can go all the way back around into that back. And then resting the bum on the floor, get yourself central again. Get the middle of that rib cage on the roller, take hold of the head, and then just stretch yourself over it. If you can, rest your head on the floor. And then if you can, take those arms ahead and let that whole body strengthen over or lengthen over the roller. Reaching. And then bring those hands back in, support the head, and just move it a little bit through that thoracic area. And then pop the bum on the floor and lift yourself up. Good. So, Helen, you want to really try to open over the roller. Try and get your head on the floor and your bum on the floor. So maybe do it a little bit slower, and then, um, and then there's less... Um, you release it, some of the tension. Bring the roller around to your knees. And then bring your bring it in and rest your bottom on it. And let's just roll. So we're going to roll our bum, roll our glutes. So I'm leaning on my right side. If you sit on the middle, your tailbone gets in the way. So just rolling on that right bum. So leaning, leaning towards the the floor a bit and then leaning back a bit so we get all the flesh of that bottom so we're squeezing the bum muscle between the bone of our leg and the roller so again if it's very uncomfortable you you apply as much weight as you want if you don't feel much you can lift your feet up and you can make yourself heavier so rocking around and then just find an area of tension Stop there, lifting the knee up and lifting it down. Bringing the knee up towards the center line and lowering. So when you find, so just stopping in that area, pulling the knee up and down. We've done this with the tennis ball. And then lengthen that leg out straight, bring it back in. So by, we're basically sitting on the knot, moving the muscle which is demanding blood. Then we're going to move the, move the uh, roller again and the blood comes rushing into the area. We get fresh nutrients, take the lactic acid away, get rid of the knots. Okay. Rolling over onto that left butt cheek. So rolling, rolling around. So I'm finding the, the lumps and bumps, finding the knots. Okay, I find a knot here and I lift that left knee up and lower it, lift it up and lower it. 
And then I can straighten that left leg in and out. So you've got to find what the angle of the muscles in your bum are at different sort of angles. So we're basically trying to find the angle of pull for the muscle that you're for the muscle that's got the knot in it. And then roll that roller again. Smooth it out a bit. Find another if there is one. Bring the knee up and down. Move that leg, just basically move that leg around. And then roll that roller. And then lowering down onto that elbow, roll the roller on the side of the hip. We're going to go on the side of the hip, which gets the tensor fascia lata, which is the attachment point of the iliotibial band, which is the fibre that goes up the side of your leg. And then we're going to roll over onto that hip flexor. You can use your knees to make it easier. All the way, or just keep rolling over. Don't stay in the same spot for too long. Jump over your pubic bone. And do the hip flexor on the other leg. And then all the way around. Move that left leg up so that you've got that's pushing you around and then come all the way back round onto the side of the right side. And then all the way back to the beginning. And then move the roller down under your legs, sit your bum on the floor, bring it in close, using your hands, lift yourself up so that you're on your legs, not your bum. And then you're going to roll up and down, like rolling pastry, which I do so much. So swing through. So we're getting just moving the fluids and things in the leg. Then we're going to go all, I'm going on my right leg. So you can go left if you want to face me. It doesn't matter. You're going to go all the way over. So we're going to go all the way up and down the side of that leg, all the way around it onto the front. And then you just move yourself around with your elbows, rolling all the way up, all the way down, turning the toes out. And then you go all the way over onto the outside of this leg. And then all the way around onto the back. Fall off the mat, just get yourself back on. And then all the way back onto your the back of your legs. And the toes down. It's a bit of a clambering around. Then pop your bum on the floor when you've gone all the way around. Move the roller down to your calves. These aren't so comfortable. Rest the middle of the calf on the on the roller. And using your knuckles, just going to roll on those. Muscles. So I point both toes to the right, and then I take them both up to the sky, and both all the way around the other way. If you want to make it harder, you can cross one leg over the other, and you can put all the weight on one calf, but I would suspect you don't need to do that. If you want to make it easier, you can put one foot on the floor, so you take a bit of weight off it. Okay, go all the way around with both legs there. And then come to the front edge of your mat, pop your feet flat, keep the roller under your legs. We're going to do our sacroiliac joint. So we're going to roll ourselves down to flat, bring those heels in towards the roller, roll those shoulders up to the ears, slide them down, pushing through the heels so the balls of my feet are off the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, push through the heels. Tilt the pelvis so the pubic bones up and then lift that back all the way up off the floor. Lower that back all the way down one vertebra at a time, down to flat again, arch the back at the bottom and then round the back into the floor, tailbone comes up, pubic bone comes up, lift yourself all the way up. One more down, all the way down each vertebra, one at a time, keeping those shoulders on the floor, those arms on the floor. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in, 
Breathing out, flatten the back. Lift up that pubic bone, push through the heels, drive the hips up into the sky and bring the roller in under those hips. Roll the tummy button in and pull the lower back towards the roller. Lengthening the head away from the shoulders, keeping, that, keeping the tummy engaged so we protect that lower back. Let's drop the right knee down to the side and lift it back up. Drop the right knee down, the pressure goes on that right hip and off the left one, bring that right knee back up. Drop that right knee down, lift it back up. Drop it down and leave it there. Now push that, that right hip into the roller as if you're trying to turn those hips, get the right hip under the left hip and release. Push that right hip into the roller and release. Push that right hip in and release. Push it in and release. Push it in and release. Push it in, release. Bring that right knee back up. Drop that left knee down. Lift it back up. Drop that left knee down. Bring it back up. Drop the left knee down, leave it there. Drive that left hip into the roller, release. Drive that left hip in, release. Drive that left hip in, release. Drive it in, hold it, it, hold it there. Drive it further. And then release and lift it back up. Drop that right knee down. Drive that hip in. Hold it there. Now just little pulses. Three, two, one. Re uh, stop the pulsing, hold it there though. Little pulses. Three, two, one. Hold it there. And then one more, three, two, one. Bring that right knee back up. Drop that left knee down. Drive that hip under, little pulses. Three, two, one, hold it there. Three, two, one, hold it there. Three, two, one. Hold it, then bring that knee back up. Keeping your pelvis, sort of keeping your hip on the roller here. Lift that, uh, hold on to the roller with your arms. Lift that right leg up so that the knee's over the waist. And then lift the left knee up too so the knee comes over the waist. Let those legs go straight up towards over your head. Try to take those knees as straight as you can. Now see if you can push off the roller with your arms and bring the roller a little higher up towards your waist. Your bum's a bit higher off the floor. Point those feet. Really point those toes. Flex those feet. Point those toes. Flex those feet. Circles with those feet one way. Circles with those feet the other way. Three circles one way. Three the other way. Push those toes down towards the floor. Bend those knees. Uh, release that left leg so it goes around and touches the floor and rests on the ground. Release that right leg so it touches the floor and goes on the ground. Draw that tummy in, making sure we're not arching that lower back. Keep those shoulders on the floor, lengthen the ears away from the hip. Breathing in. On the out breath, extend that right leg straight and feel a stretch in that hip flexor as you push that right heel on the floor. Draw that tummy in so that we make sure that we keep that lower back straight. So if you let your tummy go, you'll feel compression in your lower back and this will arch up and you won't feel anything in your hip flexor. So pull your tummy in and flatten that lower back into the into the back edge of that roller, the foot will feel like it's lifting off the ground, push that heel away and lengthen through the front of this, of this right leg. And that right knee, bring it back in. Keep that tummy engaged, push that left leg away, push that heel into the floor, pull the toes to the nose, push that leg away, keeping, that, uh, keeping those shoulders away from the ears. Again, if you re release the tummy, you release the stretch in the front of that leg. Now tighten the tummy, pull the lower back in towards the roller, lengthen the shoulders away from the ears. 
push the heel away on the floor, feel the stretch in the front of that back of that straightened leg. Bring that knee back uh, in, put those feet on the floor near to the roller, lift the balls of the feet up, clench through the bum, pushing the heels down, lift up and slide the roller out of the way. Lower that back all the way down, flat to the floor, keeping those shoulders on the ground. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in on the out breath, flatten the back, pubic bone in the sky, come up into the bridge again. Bring those arms all the way over the head, rest them on the floor above you, above your head, breathing in. On the out breath, lower that back all the way down to the ground, lengthening those hands away. Arch the back at the bottom, bring those arms back down by your side, breathing in. On the out breath, flatten the back, push through the heels, pubic bone up into the sky, come up into that bridge, push the shoulders away from the ears, pushing the hands down towards the feet. Pushing through those heels, balls of the feet off the floor, clenching with the bum, pushing into those hip flexors. Bring the arms all the way over the head. Try to get those arms flat on the floor, putting the shoulders away from the ears, breathing in and on the out breath, lower the back to the ground, keeping those arms down. So release those armpits, let them open all the way down to the floor. Arch that back at the bottom, reaching those hands away, bring those arms back down by the side, breathing in. On the out breath, flatten the back, pubic bone up, come up into that bridge. Clench with the bum and lift. Bring those arms all the way over the head, flat on the floor, breathing in. On the out breath, Lower that body all the way down to the ground, arching the back at the bottom, breathing in, bring those arms all the way back down by the side. Breathing out, lengthen those legs away, slide those hands under the bottom, roll those shoulders up to the ears, pull them down and back, push the elbows into the floor, lifting up. So we arch that upper body, breathing in, Fill those lungs up with air and spread those ribs, breathing out, squeeze those shoulder blades together, breathing in, fill those lungs up and spread those ribs, breathing it out, squeeze those shoulder blades together, so we're soft on the head, the weight's on the elbows, draw the tummy in if you feel it in the lower back, lower that back now to the floor, Bring that right knee in, bring that left knee in. Hug those knees, keep the tailbone on the floor, hug those knees in so we're flexing at those hips. And then release the uh, tailbone off the ground and let it, let it lift up. Bring the nose in towards those knees so we're really hugging that lower back. And then release the head to the floor. Keep the knees up again, let the tailbone go to the ground. Take those arms all the way out like a scarecrow. Breathing in on the out breath, drop the knees to the right. Turn the eyes left. Pop the right hand on that left leg and just pull that left knee harder down into that right leg. And then release that hand, make those arms up like a scarecrow again. Now lift those legs up. I'm keeping my feet on the floor. But I do lift my bum and pivot it and then drop my knees to the other side. So I keep my spine straight, turning that head towards that right hand, push those hands away from each other. Take that right hand, pop it on the left leg, pull that left leg into that right leg. Push that right hand away, push that, uh, those shoulders away from the ears. Pushing that right nose to the floor. Take those arm, that left hand away again, and then bring those knees all the way back up to the top. Lift the bum up and put it in alignment. And then turning, dropping those knees to the ground, turning those eyes left. So I do lift my hips up so my spine stays straight. I don't just drop the knees because then you end up in a kind of C spine shape. Push those knees to the ground. Push that left nostril to the ground. Lift those knees back up. Move that bum, drop those knees over to the left. Turning the eyes right, pushing that right nose to the floor. 
Pushing those knees into each other, down to the ground. Lengthen the tailbone from the top of the head and bring those knees all the way back up to, to the sky. Bring those arms all the way up. Bring those knees into the chest. Hug those knees, lift them up. Lift the upper body up. And then take those arms past your body. So you're unattached, eyes are looking between your legs. And then open your upper body up, take the head to the floor, arms to the floor over your head. Take your feet away from your bottom a little bit. And we're going to do heel taps with that right leg. Tap the heel on the floor. So adjust the body. All of those ribs are on the ground, lower back slightly lifted. Lift that right leg back up. Touch that right heel down to the floor. Lift that right heel back up. Right heel goes down to the floor. Lift it back up. Left heel goes down to the floor. Lift it back up. Left heel goes down to the floor. Lift it back up. Left heel goes down to the floor. Bring the right heel down to the floor too. Bring that left heel up. Bring the right heel up. Take the left one down. Take the right one down. Bring the left up. Bring the right up. Take both heels down to the floor. Slide those legs out straight, opening those hips. Bring those arms up to the up to above you. Bring that right knee in. Pull that right knee in up to the armpit. Pull that right leg over the body. Turning those eyes right. Pulling that right knee down to the floor. So further stretch with that hip, with that lower back. With the left legs out of the way. So we can pull that right leg further over and we can stretch through that lower back, stretch through those ribs. And then roll onto that left hand side. Take hold of that right foot in the right hand. Clench the bum. So you push the pubic bone forward. It's in line with the tummy button and the, and the breastbone. Push the right foot into that right hand and lengthen it behind you. Let that left foot come forward to keep your balance. Let this right leg stretch behind. Lengthen. And then release, roll over onto the back. Take this right foot into the arms, pull that right foot up towards that left shoulder. Push that right knee away, bring that left leg in. Put the right foot against the left leg, pull that left leg in, push that right leg or right knee away. Hold it in this um, stretch position. Now push that right knee into that right hand. Breathing in, breathing out, release. Let that left leg go straight, let go of the right foot, pull that right knee in. And then release that right leg away. Take the arms over the head, stretch. Bring the arms up to the sky. Bring that left knee in. Hug that left knee up towards that armpit. Pushing the tailbone down to the floor, keeping that lower back in neutral. Pushing that right foot away. Keeping those ribs all on the ground. Take this left leg over the body, all the way down to the floor. Take that left hand away, turn the eyes left. Push that left hand away, push that left knee down. Breathing in, breathing out. Trying to get that left knee on the floor, trying to keep this right shoulder on the floor. Left shoulder, sorry, left shoulder. Left shoulder on the floor, left knee on the floor. Turning through those ribs, turning through that lower back. And then rolling onto that right hand side, support the head with the underneath arm. Take hold of this left foot in that left hand, clench the bum, push into those hip flexors. Pushing this left foot, oops, into that left hand, and lengthening that left leg behind you. Feel the stretch through those hip flexors, clenching with the bum. Keep that tummy engaged, keep the pubic bone, breastbone 
and tummy button aligned. Pushing. And then release the push of that foot in the hand and roll back onto the back. Bring that left knee up into the armpit. Push that tailbone down. Bring that left foot up to, uh, bring that right leg in, rest the left foot on the right leg. And then push that left knee away. Breathing in, breathing out. Push the left knee into that left hand, holding it there. Breathing in, breathing out, release the push and then pull that uh, right knee in and push the left knee away. Stretch and rotate that thigh. And then let go of that right leg, let go of that left foot, pull that left knee in, push the tailbone down to the floor and then release that leg away, release the arms over the head, reach and stretch. Breathing in, bring those arms up to the sky, chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way up to sitting, hands on the legs, rolling all the way down towards those feet. All the way down, stretching that lower back, push that lower back out, push that middle back, push that upper back, push the knees to the floor, bring the toes to, up towards the body. Point those toes away. Bring those toes all the way up. Lifting that body up to vertical, bring those arms up to horizontal, breathing in and on the out breath, down to the floor for five, four, three, two, one. Arms over the head, rest them on the floor, breathing in on the out breath, jaw in the collar, is stopping yourself having a wee. Lift your right leg straight up into the sky and lower that right leg down. Bring that left leg straight up into the sky, keeping the torso in neutral. Lower that left leg down. Bring the right leg straight up into the sky. Bring the left leg straight up into the sky. Keep those ribs on the floor. Lower backs lifted, point those toes. Flex those feet, circles one way. Circles the other way. Take that right leg with the foot flex down to the floor. Bring the left leg towards you. Bring the right leg up and lower the left. So swap legs. All the way up, all the way down. Bring the right foot towards the face. Lower the right leg, bring that left leg up. Lower that left leg, bring that right leg up. Keeping neutral spine, no moving of those shoulders. Lower the right leg, bring that left leg up. Lower that left leg down. Feel those hips and the front of the body open. Keep those hands on the floor. Draw that right leg up. Bring that left leg up. Soften those knees, breathing in. And on the out breath, drawing in the core nice and strong, lower those legs to the floor for five, four, bend the knees if it's too hard, three, two, one, rest them on the ground, bring those arms all the way up to the sky, breathing in. On the out breath, chin into the chest and roll yourself all the way up to sitting. Rest the hands on the legs. Pull yourself up to vertical, so hold on to your thighs. Push your head up to the sky. Oh, well done, Mum. Lift the head up to the sky, so we're staying vertical. Push those knees to the floor, bring those arms up in front, breathing in. So Jane, chest up, come forward onto your front bottom, good. Breathing out, lower yourself down to the ground, one vertebra at a time for three, two, one, bring those arms all the way over the body. Breathing in, pull those shoulders down away from the ears. Breathing out, lift that right leg up into the sky. Lift that left leg up into the sky. Breathing in. Take those hands to those legs. Breathing out, reach up towards those feet and release. Reach up towards those feet and release. Three more, release, two more, 
Release. One more. Release the head onto the floor. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Bring those arms all the way over the head onto the ground. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Put those upper ribs, middle ribs, bottom ribs onto the floor. Lift that lower back slightly. Breathing in, soften those knees. Have them bend them to 90 degrees. Breathing out, slowly lower the feet to the floor for five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen the legs out straight. Bring those hands up to the sky. Tune into the chest. Roll yourself up for five, four, three, two. Stay vertical. One. Pull onto your front bottom. Hold your hands under your thighs. Lift yourself up to your front bottom. Chest up. Bring those arms up in front of you. Breathing in on the out breath. Lowering down for five, four, three, two. One. Take those arms over the head, pull the shoulders away from the ears, breathing in. On the out breath, lift that left leg up into the sky. Lift that right leg up into the sky. Holding yourself here, soften those knees. Breathing in on the out breath, lift the bum up off the floor for three, two, one, holding yourself here, bend those knees to 90 degrees, lower that body, those feet, sorry, back down to the floor, you can do them separately if you need, rest those heels on the floor, breathing in, on the out breath, straighten those legs out straight, bring those hands up to the sky, chin into the chest and roll yourself all the way up. And this time, carry on over, reach to those toes and bend through that back. Good. Sit yourself up nice and tall, breathing in. Left hand on right knee, right hand behind, lift and turn. Then the other way, right hand on left knee, left hand behind, lift and turn. Lift and turn. Come back round to the front. Come on to all fours. Come on to all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Turn the inside of the elbows forward. Pushing the head away from the tailbone. Turn the tailbone down, lift that back up, bring the eyes to the knees. Turn that tailbone up, bring the belly down, bring the eyes to the sky. Turn that tailbone down, um, eyes to the knees, back up. Turn that tailbone up, bring that belly down, bring those eyes to the sky. Keep yourself in this inverted position and glide back the bum back. So we shut that hip down again. Pulling those knees apart in this position. Keep the knees where they are on the floor, but pull them away from each other to engage the glutes. Release. Pull them apart, engages the glutes. Release. Pull them apart, engages the glutes. So just stay back in this, stay back, Sarah, bum down by your heels. Yeah, drop your bum back down towards your heels. Now pull those knees apart in that position. Feel your bum engage and release. Pull them apart in this position and release. Then pull them apart and then lift your body up onto all fours. Okay, holding here, keep the hips above the knees. And we do the puppy stretch. Push those arms forward. Lower that chest all the way down to the ground, keeping the bum in the air. Chin down to the floor if you can. Chest down to the floor. Creep those hands forward. Pushing those forearms into the ground, breathing in, breathing out, release the push, lengthen the arms away, and then lifting yourself back up, bring those arms under the shoulders, turn the tailbone down, bring that back up, eyes to the knees, turn that tailbone up, belly down, eyes up, 
slide those arms forwards again. Stretch through that chest, stretch through those armpits, push the arms forward, push those arms into the floor. Breathing in, breathing out. Release, lengthen the arm forwards again. Rest the chin on the floor if you can, breathing in. On the out breath, push those forearms in the ground. And then release and lengthen them a bit more. Keep the bum above the knees, don't let your hips fall forward or your, or your slide. And then lift yourself back up. You can walk your hands back or you can just slide them back up. Turn that tailbone down, bring that back up high to the knees. Turn that tailbone up, eyes to the sky, belly down. Good. Okay, one more, slide those arms forwards. Pushing those hands forward, take that chin to the floor, breathing in. Keep the bum above the knees. Push those forearms into the ground. Breathing in on the out breath. Push those arms further forward. And then last time, lift yourself back up onto all fours. Lengthen that body into neutral. Push the head away from the tailbone. Turn that right hand, palm up, and slide it under that left armpit. So your <coughs> right ear goes to the ground. Right hand is going under, or right shoulder is going under the left shoulder. Stretching that shoulder as you reach that hand through. Push off the left hand and bring that right arm up into the sky, trying to get that right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. And then swing that right hand through. So the right shoulder goes under the left shoulder. Breathing in, and on the out breath, push off that left hand, bring that right hand up into the sky. Trying to get the left shoulder forward and the right shoulder back. And then release that right hand, bring it through under that left arm again. Trying to reach and stretch it through. And then push off that left hand, bring that right arm up into the sky. So we're rotating in a different way. Bring that hand back next to the other one. So everything's about binding neutral spine, in doing a bit of rotating, mobilizing the spine, challenging the spine, challenging the core, turn that left hand palm up. Push that left hand through under that right arm. So we challenge the core, we then move the spine again. When we've got stiff, we then rotate. Push off that right hand, bring that left arm up into the sky. Pushing the right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Keep those even weight on those knees. Swing that left hand through under that left, under that right shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. Push off that right hand, lift that left hand up into the sky. Pull that left shoulder back, push that right shoulder forward. Keep those hips parallel to the floor. Release, bring that left hand through under that right shoulder. Trying to get the left shoulder under the right one, rotating this way. Push off that right hand, lift that left arm up last time. And then put that hand back next to the other arm. Good, come down onto your elbows. Lengthen your legs out straight. Come down onto your elbows. Lower yourself all the way down onto the floor, forehead on the ground. Adjust your body so you're straight. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Clench the bum, push the pubic bone into the floor. Draw the tummy and lift it off the floor. And then lift those hands up, hands and forearms up and lower. Breathing in. On the out breath, hands and forearms up and lower. Breathing in. On the out breath, hands and forearms up and lower. 
Rolling those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Breathing out, push off those forearms and lift that chest and, and head up off the ground. Looking at the front edge of the mat, clenching with the bum, drawing the tummy in, lifting the belly off the floor. Pushing the shoulder blades together. Visualizing you're pulling your elbows down to your waist without moving those arms. Trying to push the chest forward along the floor without moving the body. And then release. So we're just creating tension of those shoulder blades. Breathing in on the out breath, lifting that upper body up by drawing those shoulder blades down, clenching with the bum, lifting the belly up. Eyes looking down to the floor, opening that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together and release. Breathing in on the out breath, one more. Lifting up that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades down and back, pulling those elbows backward on the floor, benching with the bum, drawing that tummy in, lengthen that neck, and then lower. Push the forehead into the ground, clench the bum, draw the tummy off the floor, lift both hands and forearms up, and lower. Lift the hands and forearms up, hold them there. Lift the whole arm up into the sky. Touch those elbows down. Lift those arms up. Touch those elbows down. Lift those arms up and hold. Cleanse the bum, lengthen the leg, draw in the tummy. Bring those arms up higher for five, four, three, two, one. Hold them there. Bring those arms up for five, four, Three, two, one. Release down to the floor. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Lift yourself up and roll onto your left hand side. So both arms are going out on the floor. Left leg straight, right leg goes over and under the left leg. Hands are on top of each other. Breathing in on the out breath. Bring that right arm all the way up. And all the way over to the floor. Turn the eyes right, following that arm. Bring that arm all the way back onto the upper one. Breathing in. On the out breath, open. All the way over to the ground. Shoulder to the floor, keeping that right knee on the ground. Bring that hand all the way up and over. Last one, bring it all the way up and open. And then close. Untangle the legs, roll onto the other side. So again, we did back extension with the upper body, and then we're doing rotations. Right leg straight, left leg goes under the right leg. Both hands go away from the body, breathing in on the out breath, left arm all the way up into the sky, all the way over to the floor. Reaching, stretching, pushing the hands away. Bring that left hand all the way back onto the right hand, breathing in. On the out breath, all the way over and open. And then all the way closing. And then all the way over and open. And then all the way over and closing. Untangle those legs, roll onto your back. Pop your legs out straight on the floor. Bring those arms up all the way over the head, reaching and stretching those fingers from the toes. And then bring those hands up to the sky, chin into the chest and roll yourself all the way back up to sitting. Slide those hands down towards those feet. Soften those knees, pull yourself all the way forward. Bring yourself forward. Armpits are on my knees, hands are around my feet. And then I push those knees down towards the floor. I can point those toes, push those knees further down. I can flex those feet. Feel the tension in the back of those legs. Bring yourself up to vertical. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Pop the fists on the floor behind you, breathing in. On the out breath, push that chest up to the sky, take the chin up, let that head drop back, 
And then bring that chin all the way down into the chest, pulling those shoulders back and down. Turn the eyes to the right side of the right leg. Pushing that left ear from the left shoulder. Turn the eyes over to the left side of the left leg. Pushing that right ear from the right shoulder. Bring those eyes back to the middle. Lift those eyes back up to horizontal. Pushing off those hands, swing those uh, fingers forwards, bring them all the way up into the sky. Bring those arms all the way up wide, nice and round. Dust the floor, bring them all the way up, leave them in the sky. Hands together above your head. Pull yourself forward onto your front bottom, breathing in. Breathing out, push those arms all the way up into the sky. Look up after those fingers. Pulling that chest up, pushing the tailbone down, pushing the heels into the floor, bring the toes to your nose. Release those arms out wide. Rest them on your legs and roll your shoulders. Well done. So that was a bit more of an all over stretch, all over stabilize.